Hello everyone, this is Bornemus here. Um, I hope everyone had a very good Christmas and holiday season, as well as a very happy new year. It is now 2008. Woo! So this will be my first video in 2008, and this will also be my first uh, video log. I never planned on doing any of these, but um, certain circumstances uh, that have happened in the last two weeks uh, has uh, made me change my mind, especially since I haven't done any videos. And I apologize for that because my computer's hard drive made a few crunching sounds and then I got the blue screen of death and it would never boot up again. So basically my hard drive died and with it all the videos that I have made and quite a few videos that I had already made that I would have posted uh, during the last two weeks. So I have to reshoot quite a few videos and uh, do a little catching up. So I'm sorry about that. I got a new hard drive, reloaded all my software, reloaded Windows, um, but I lost all the videos that I had made. So uh, except for two, uh, two were still on the on the uh, camera. So those will be put up shortly. Um, anyway, just thought I'd share with you, uh, Santa came by, despite me being on the naughty list, um, came by, and I got a few things, one of them being Pirates 3. I like this movie, but, uh, not as much as the first one, but I'm sort of a completist when it comes to movies, that got it anyway. And of course Harry Potter. Everyone loves Harry Potter. This has got the cool uh, I'm trying to do that for you here. Change of scenery. That's neat. And uh, some Transformers loot. I uh, can never have uh, Christmas without some Transformers loot. I got Cybertron Scrap Metal, the red version. Up there, and I got a few G1s that I've been wanting since I was 10. <laughs> so, anyway, this is the creme de la creme for me. This is, I guess, you would call the holy grail for me. This is Skywarp, and uh, he's brand spanking new, and I will definitely be reviewing him. This guy I have to review. I love this guy. I'm glad I got him. And I also got Thundercracker. So those are a couple right there. Or a few, I should say. Right there. And I got um, the Cybertron Beast, pl uh, what do you call it, Beast Planet? Uh, Megatron, which I already transformed to his robot form. And I got a lot to say about this one right here. This guy, plenty to say about. So I'll be definitely doing a review of him, if you guys don't mind. Um, so anyway, that's that for that. Now, on to another subject matter. Transformers Animated. <laughs> if you haven't seen it on Chris, uh, what was it, December 26th, was it? And it played again on the 29th, I guess, on Cartoon Network. I missed them both, but I watched them on YouTube. And uh, I have to say, I have mixed feelings about this one. Um, I don't like the animation style. I'm not going to make any excuses for that. I do not like the way it is animated. I think it's cheap. And it's your typical Cartoon Network animation crap. And for that, I resent Cartoon Network a great deal for screwing up uh, a, a, a 
Transformers, which is an, you know a really awesome line. And uh, being a G1 fan, um, this is a huge step backwards. I mean, it, it's kind of hard to say because you know I I watched a little bit of Armana, and I I like three or four episodes and. Same goes for Energon, and I didn't care for him. Too much talk, no action. At least that's my point of view. And I don't like the freaking kids uh, just being dead weight. Uh, Cybertron was a little better, but you still had the kid problem. But uh, I enjoyed Cybertron a little more. I enjoyed Beast Wars immensely, and I enjoyed Generation 1 immensely. I uh, didn't see R.I.D., I only saw one episode, I, I take it back. And I don't know how, but Cartoon Network played it, I watched it, and never saw it again. And this animated one, you have the girl, um, Sari is her name. And uh, she's, she's a nice character, but she's uglier than a bag of hammers. I mean, jeez man, all the characters are ugly. It's like they fell off the ugly tree and hit every branch down. I mean, what the heck? Who designed these things? At least make them look good. Make them look cool. And what's wrong with a little bit of realism? What's wrong with making them look like real people? What's wrong with them making robots that actually look like robots instead of uh, Teen Titans in robot suits? I mean, Bulkhead is basically... Um, Brain fart. Well, anyway. Bulkhead is basically Cyborg. Uh, Bumblebee is basically Starfire. Uh, Red Alert, is it? Whether is it Red Alert or... No, 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 no. Ratchet. What am I saying? Ratchet is basically Raven, the grumpy old guy. Raven was a grouchy old broad in Teen Titans. And, uh, Prowl is basically, um, Robin. And, uh, Prime is some sort of Batman, I guess. And it's, or Batman Superman-ish kind of character. I haven't figured them out yet. But the way they move, they're, they're mechanical beings. Their parts don't flex. Their windshields don't flex like, you know, like rubber. <laughs> you know, I just don't like it. I don't like the animation at all. And it really, I was really disappointed in that. And the transformation, they don't even try to make to show the transformation as the parts moving, like the arms forming and the legs forming and the head forming. They don't show any of that. They just pop up. They have one second they're in vehicle, the next second there's just like a blob of stuff and then boom, robot. It's just not... I don't know. But I will say this. The stories I liked. I watched the whole thing. I enjoyed it immensely. The stories are very good. At least the first three episodes were pretty decent. I enjoyed it. Starscream was badass. And I'm definitely happy with the way they did him. Uh, Megatron, I liked a lot. Although I, I miss the fact that he's not the way he was in G1. Uh, but he's still a very good character. Uh, a lot of neat characters in this one. Bumblebee's alright. The character-wise is okay. Prowl... I wouldn't have named him Prowl, but whatever. Uh, good character. Uh, Prime needs to use his face mask more often. The lips just don't do it for him. But other than that, he looks good. Uh, he reminds me of Pepsi Prime uh, <laughs> with his colors. So, uh, watch out for that. And... Uh, Prowl, uh, oh, I was going to mention Prowl. Ratchet, Ratchet's a grumpy old guy, but he's pretty good. Characters are alright. The least favorite, and I know I'm, 
a lot of people will probably disagree with me, but Bulkhead is my least favorite. Uh, probably because he's too childish to me. I don't know why. But uh, maybe he'll grow on me. I'll give it a chance. I'm, I try to be fair. Decepticon-wise, Starscream rocks. Um, 